testing and reviewing a little bit the Microsoft HoloLens. So the HoloLens is a computer mounted heads up display that is a little bit more robust than the Google Glass that I'm actually recording on right now. What's nice about that is it does offer some benefits um, to having a slightly more robust display. However, as you can tell, it's a little bit bigger. So technically this has already been unboxed by the team that I work with. However, it doesn't mean that we can't unbox it like we were doing the first time. So very, very nice built-in carrying case, very similar to what we uh, experienced before with the Google Glass unboxing. So here is the actual HoloLens headset itself. As you can tell, it's a little bit large, definitely more in your face than a Google Glass headset. Thought process is you wouldn't necessarily be wearing this all the time. You'd be wearing it for certain things. One important thing to note is that you can actually see A, the lasers that are currently tracking me, if you look very closely, as well as the fact that it has a very similar headset design to what Glass offers in terms of having a darker area for the, the screen to um, find you. There are in red a couple parts where it has bi um, RO audio as well as a headphone port if you want a micro US, um, USB for charging. Now what's interesting is a lot of people think that this is how you would wear the headset like this, but this headband actually tilts like so, allowing this area right here to flex a little bit. That flexing allows for a wide variety of heads, and as you can see here, this is actually a dial that allows the cranking ability. So you can actually have this headset um, fit a wide variety of head shapes including enormous noggins like myself, um, still without, you know, totally flexing too much. You can also see right down here, it flexes by the actual lenses itself. Um, also in the box, you'll get an extra nose pad, um, nose pad, as well as a innovative strap that actually plugs in right here that allows um, additional uh, head mounted ability. A nose, uh, nose pad that is designed for a more extended look, specifically for people that wear glasses. USB cable, etc., etc. Finally, you'll also get something called the clicker, which um, is basically does what it sounds. It charges via micro USB, but does um, actually allows you to click, which the HoloLens is very much a point of look device. So, from a field of view, you're looking at something along the lines of about, you know, some people say 15 to 20, somewhere along the ballpark of, let's see, my pen decided to stop working. So you're looking at something along the ballpark of 15% or so for here and more of a 40 to 50th percent for glass. So the larger square here is what you're kind of seeing from a full field of view. Glass is a little bit tinier and up on the right side. So while it's a similar design to have you look into, it functions very differently, especially the way that the prisms on the HoloLens work, which are three years newer than what glass actually does. As another advantage uh, to this new technology here, it's due to the way that they have the holographic mapping along the top part of the HoloLens, it actually will track where you're looking at in space. So you can literally drop something in one point, look over here, and then look back, and it will still be in the same point in time. So what's really nice about this is it will actually let you map the interior space which you couldn't typically do with something like glass by itself. You would need something more along the lines of Project Tango and then some more complicated technology to actually make sure that you're looking and located the same place where the computer thinks you're located. So it's definitely a very, very cool device. Um, it works literally right out of the box and I'm very excited to see what else that uh, our group comes up with. So right now let's go actually see a live 
what they call mixed reality recording of what this looks like in person. So now you can see kind of the mixed reality of what I'm actually looking at. So I go ahead and tap it and map the surroundings and stuff that we've already dropped will actually show here as well as things that we can go ahead and add. So if I wanted to take this, for instance, and rotate it, move it around, I could. I can also go here, find a new one that I would like to use. Yep. So I'm probably a little bit too close. So I can move this one over here. I can even have it hover in space. Which then allows me to look at it from vastly different angles. If I want to adjust something, I, it's actually pretty easy. I can go ahead and grab it and make it nice and big or small and then move it if I want to. What's really nice is it actually will stay where we have now that we've mapped the room out. So as I look back, you'll see it's still where I left it. And so there's a lot of built-in holograms. And we can kind of put them wherever we really want around in space. Most of them, like reality we have today, is actually 3D. So you can walk around things as you want to look at them. So as you can probably tell, the potentials here are endless.